Hi, my name is Jim. Jim Halliburton, also known as the HMO Daddy. There is a lot of concern about the increase in utility bills amongst HMO landlords. I'm here to share with you how you can eliminate your gas and electric bills. Yes, that's right, you can reduce your bills to zero. This is the first in a series of five short talks explaining in detail how it can be done. Let's cut to the chase by fitting electric prepay meters. From previous experience, I find that by fitting electric prepay meters, the tenant's behavior changes. They go from leaving everything switched on in their room to leaving everything switched off. And this nearly halves the cost of electric to the HMO. The tenants pay for the electric they use, and this goes a long way towards eliminating or even reducing the cost of the electric the landlord has to pay. Don't worry if you do not completely understand what I'm saying. This is the first of five talks. In the next talk, I'll go into more detail about fitting electric prepay meters. And in the third session, I'll show you how to fit electric prepay meters. In the fourth and fifth session, I'll be answering your questions that you've raised about fitting electric prepay meters. So please send the questions to the email address below. I've also produced a book explaining how to fit electric prepay meters. Please sign up for your free copy. Understand that an HMO landlord does not have to provide central heating in the HMO. All they have to do is to provide a fixed form of heating, which could be electric heaters. If you wire the electric heater through the prepay meter, the tenant pays for the heating costs, so eliminating the cost of heating. A wall heater can be bought if you look around for as little as £15. I prefer fan heaters, which cost about £40, because they can be fitted to the wall and they're away from furniture and beds, so safer to use and they also heat up the room far faster than a wall heater. The problem about electric heaters is they use a lot of electric and at the current cost an electric heater would probably use £2 an hour which would mean £48 a day and I hate to think what it used in a week, £350, far more than you charge a tenant for the rent. So it's important if you do fit electric heaters they go through prepay meters and the tenant pays the cost. I know what you're going to be concerned about. Do you have to remove the central heating radiators or system that you have in the house? You don't. As long as you put in your contract that the central heating is not a contractual obligation, that it's only provided at the landlord's discretion. You may have to change your contract to the existing tenants. I prefer to supply background heating because it keeps the house warm and reduces mould which can damage the fabrics of the building and can lead to complaints to housing standards which you don't want. I appreciate it. it's been a lot for you to take in. If you want to know more watch the next video. In talks 4 and 5 I'll go through the questions I've been asked about fitting electric prepay meters. I've also written a book which I'll send electronically free of charge or if you want a paper copy, I'll only charge £3.50 postage and packing. Please send your requests to the email address below. Thank you very much for listening.